Today's video is brought to you by Audible, and right now they're offering my viewers a free audiobook with the sign up of a 30 day trial membership. Now, to get your free membership trial started, head to audible.com slash Jay's Two Cents. That's J A Y Z T W O C E N T S. Now, I'm a huge fan of their self help section, and I'm right now listening to the audiobook of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F by Mark Manson, and it's actually doing a really good job at helping me prioritize the things that are worth my time in life. Now, to get your free book and trial membership, again, head to audible.com slash Jay's Two Cents, J A Y Z T W O C E N T S, or better yet, just click the link down in the description. Now, ever since moving into the studio, I've been using my LG UC87C, which is an amazing 34 inch ultra wide IPS 60 hertz panel. It does a fantastic job, but I want a little bit more power to take advantage of all the frames per second. So that's why I'm gonna be using the ASUS ROG Swift PG348. Now it's also a 34 inch ultra wide 3440 by 1440p IPS panel, but it's 100 hertz of power. But you know what's better than one PG348? Two. PG 348s. It's still going. Oh my god. That was way taller than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> now, the UC87 is a pretty good monitor. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I kept it after review. The color accuracy of it. It's fantastic for content creation. In fact, I'm gonna be keeping that. It might end up being Nick's monitor. Now, unfortunately though, the LG does not feature G-Sync or high refresh rate, which are things that a snob like me care a lot about. And that's where these guys come in. You. There's like hair in there. Oh. <laughs> that's why I need a vacuum cleaner. What was that? Oh, it's a little cover. There's little covers. They're not gonna be able to be centered. Like one's gonna have to be here and one's gonna have to be here. And it's gonna block the system, but I'm cool with that. Uh, kinda wish I had a wider desk now. Look at the base though. Have you ever seen a company put so much effort into the base? I mean, the Predator base is nice, but this is even better. And it has a light that shines down too. External power brick, that kinda sucks. Here's the light on the bottom. This actually shines through right there. That's how you get the, the light that shines down underneath the base. But instead of having an external cable, they run a ribbon cable right down through the middle and it contacts right here when you put the base on. So as soon as you take the base and you pop that guy in there, it's all contact based and now the lighting is in there. That's pretty neat, I like that. Poor guy's scratched. This is what happens when I get review stuff. You just gotta get it in there and twist, as my wife always says. So. Oh man, these are actually kind of weighty. There's one right there. And you can see it rotates on the base. We got some swivel action. And uh, once we power it up, theoretically we'll have some lighting action. One down, one to go. If I can not pull a Linus and break it in some way. Again, the problem with stuff that gets sent to me, you know, for review is sometimes Reviewers don't put them back the way they're supposed to go. Like there's a whole screw missing from that right there. And I believe a piece of the cover is missing too. So once all the cables are in, this is actually a cover for that. But we don't need to put that in yet because I don't have the cables in there. Can't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? These were after all, technically not sent for review. They were sent because I asked for them to have them and they obliged. So I am grateful. I think we're good. They're just dirty. Very dirty. I'm telling you, I have a feeling they just straight, like, we're like, Bob, you know the monitors on your desk? Pack them up. You're done. Sorry, Bob. Bob and marketing. But they're mine now. Where's the power plug for this guy? Oh, here it is. Ow. I'm surrounded by cables. Do you have what it takes to do this? Hmm? Are you being honest with yourself? Whether or not you have what it takes to be the cameraman for Jay's Two Cents? Not done with farting yet, no. Dude, cable management, man, it's important. It's still, mine still sucks, but it's important. <laughs> the parts are fighting back. If I put this one sort of at an angle there, then I could potentially, like, I can push this over slightly. I'm okay with one being at an angle, one being straight. I don't know how that looks. I need, technically I need a wider desk. Dude, look at this unboxing. <laughs> look at the mess from unboxing. 
<laughs> Why is that standing up in the chair? Did you do that or did I do that? No, I did that. Why did I do that? Let's get a finger and find the hole. Hold on. There it is. Got it. <laughs> do you need to move? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought about making you do this edit, but now I don't want you to because I know you'll leave all that in to embarrass me. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm going to have to center them and go with a curb setup like that. Like, I don't think I have a choice. If you want to know the truth. What do you think of that, though? Like, I mean, remember, <clears throat> I spend way more time editing than I do gaming. So having the real estate for editing right now is first and foremost. But I mean, gaming like this, I need to maybe give myself some slack. But if I'm going to game, I can either game like that, or I mean, I can turn in a game like that. That's not a problem. That doesn't bug me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should leave it like this? Or do you think I should get an arm and like mount them on top of each other? Which I thought could be kind of neat. But then it'll just look like a big square of panels. Good news is they work. Bad news is that the DisplayPort cable I have for this monitor is not long enough to reach even right there. So I have to bring one of the ones I have from home, which kind of suck. I should have grabbed them this morning. I was in the shop even. I have 10 foot cables, which would be better. I, I, I kind of wish I was able to sit right in front of the panels, but even this big like 63 inch desk from Ikea is still not wide enough for two 34 inch ultra wide panels. I guess basic math would have told me that going into this, but that's, fine. that's okay. I'm okay with this. Look at all this real estate. But if you think that I should get some sort of a monitor arm, like the, like the Ergo stand that I use at home, I can actually put panels on top of each other with that one. So let me know down in the comments if you think I should leave it like this, or if you think I should stack them on top of each other. I'm kind of leaning towards stacking them because I still need to get like professional monitor speakers or monitors for the audio editing and then have room for them on the desk. Because as this sits right now, I have no room for them on the desk. So go ahead and give your opinions down below. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lean towards stacking them though. But now I've got all this extra real estate for editing, which is something I've been missing since moving here. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, some fun stuff coming up. The Terry Crews video has been shot. We just have to edit that. And I may or may not have some merch coming up, which people have been bugging the crap out of me to start offering. So there is that. Anyway, time to go. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Now to make this get all the FPSs. All the fips.